Diophantus, said to be born around 200 AD and died in 284 AD. A Hellenistic Greek, well, maybe an Egyptian Jewish or even Chaldean mathematician, Diophantus, is called the father of algebra. Very little is known about his life except for what has been written about him. The little bit we do know comes from the following riddle. Here lies Diophantus, the wonder behold. Thou art algebraic. The stone tells how old. God gave him his boyhood one-sixth of his life, one-twelfth more, as youth, while whiskers grew rife. And then, yet one-seventh eve marriage begun. In f five years there came a bouncing new son. Alas, the dear child of master and sage met fate at just half his dad's final age. Four years, yet his studies gave solace from grief. Then, leaving scenes early, he too found relief. Can you solve the riddle to see how old he was when he died? The answer is 84. The little bit of research compiled on Diophantus states he was a student of Babylonian teachers and attended the University of Alexandria in Egypt. Diophantus was inspired by the Greeks. The Arithmica is an ancient Greek text written in the 3rd century AD. It's a collection of 130 algebraic problems, giving numerical solutions of determinate and indeterminate equations. Most of the problems in his text led to quadratic equations. It was these equations that led to the Fermat to propose Fermat's last theorem. Today, we see much relevance in Diophantus' work. He contributed greatly to the number theory, mathematical notation, and because Arithmica contains the earliest known use of the syncopated notation. The Arithmica exemplifies the strengths of doing mathematics not only through proof, but also by example. The only controversy I can find in regards to Diophantus is the following. In the historical development of algebra, and with many of his works missing and revised, some historians feel his works should be redone. There is a lot of controversy over when Diophantus actually lived. There are a few limits which can be put on the dates of Diophantus's life. The quotes of definition of a polygonal number from the work of Hypsicles, so he must have written this later than 150 BC, while on the other hand, Theon of Alexandria, father of Hypatia, quotes one of his definitions so this means he wrote it no later than 350 AD. This leaves a span of 500 years. It's hard to give him the name the father of algebra, since his work contained many solutions to exact problems with no general solutions.